Jacker and Durham. Time for another debut, Mr. Durham, because they Jackets yep. are fresh off a three-game sweep of Clemson over the weekend. And a gentleman that had something to do with it, especially that to walk off because it was a bomb, is Justin Henry Malloy. All right, look at that big smile. And Justin, listen, if you didn't have a good weekend this weekend, I can't help you because your boys <laughs> took care of business, man. That's that was strong. A big time sweep at the right time of the year. Absolutely. Uh, I think with how our season's been going, kind of riding the ups and downs. Uh, I think that was a big statement weekend, and uh, I'm happy we were able to do it. We haven't had a weekend like that since NC State, which was in the real beginning of the season. So uh, I, I think that'll kind of build us going forward. Justin, a lot of things can happen in a weekend in ACC baseball, and we've learned with kind of the you know the abbreviated midweek schedule. And I know you guys have big midweek games coming up, especially the one against Georgia at home next week, that kind of thing. But to win on Friday night against Clemson, did you just feel the momentum building? Here come the Tigers. They've been playing very well. You guys had kind of scuffled a little bit. That's Coach Hall's term, not mine. Uh, what does what does the Friday night win mean to the rest of the weekend? Uh, I think Friday is a huge win uh, in all series, not just this one. Um, it sets the tone for the weekend. Uh, it allows for us to just kind of build off of what we did. Um, and it kind of, you know, takes some pressure off. Not to say that there's not pressure going into Saturday or Sunday, but winning Friday night allows you to know that mm. we need to win one more game to clinch a series. And uh, we did that. And I think it was awesome to be able to win on Friday night. And uh, it kind of just kept the momentum for us going into Saturday and then Sunday. Okay, Friday's one thing, but let's talk about Saturday. All right, let's talk about mm. how that bad boy ended on Saturday where all of a sudden, the second it left the bat, you had to go ball game. Let's walk this thing off. Yeah, um, it was kind of a surreal feeling. Um, just off the bat, I was kind of like, oh, wow. Like, it, it, was, it was a great feeling. Um, on Friday night, uh, I hit a ball pretty good, and it got caught right at the wall. So I was mm -hmm. kind of nervous with the ball leaving the bat. I was really hoping that it would leave the ballpark. But, I mean, I put a good swing on it in a, you know, in a plus count for me, and I was able to kind of help us out. So it was a fun weekend for us. It's a moment that I'll have forever. My family was here. They haven't been down here since the Pitt series. Uh, and I gave the ball to my mom. Uh, DH found oh. the ball, gave it to me after the game. And I gave the ball to my mom. Happy early Mother's Day. Oh, very cool. That's <laughs> excellent. That is cool. Yeah. All right, so the walk-off Saturday – and then yesterday, I mean, you come off the 6-5 win Saturday, and then yesterday you guys fall behind, what, 5 nothing before, six. you know, hey, by the way, 6-0 six six nothing. Nothing before you're, six. you're trying to get this thing back in gear, right? Yes, yes. Um, I mean, I think that was kind of not really a culture shock, but it was more like, okay, like we're in a ball game. This isn't a dead team, a Clemson team that's coming in very hot. Uh, although we did just beat them twice, this is still a very good team. Um, so they kind of punched us in the mouth. So it was kind of a, a character building moment where we got to figure out whether we're going to come back and, you know, win this thing, or we could just kind of lay down and just say, all right, we clinched the series. This game really doesn't matter. And I think it was a yeah. great sign for us to be able to kind of just be able to punch back, um, not lay down and just kind of get runners on base and do what we do and just kind of chip away. Um, we ended up not really chipping away. We had a big seven-run one, uh, seven run <laughs> inning, um, but it, it, it was good. It was, uh, it was a great moment for us, um, and I'm proud of our team. I'm very proud. Justin, it's one thing to say, hey, we got the sweep against a team that's red hot, but it also puts you in first place in the coastal standings. I know you can't do so much scoreboard watching. You still got business at hand. Got the tournament coming up here in two or three weeks. Uh, but big picture, uh, despite the ups and the downs, I mean, you do keep score. And the fact that, hey, today, Georgia Tech's in first place should mean something, shouldn't it? Mm -hmm. Absolutely, it should. Um, I think it's a great thing that we're in first place. But at the same time, the job's not over. We have plenty more series to go. Uh, we got Miami right in front of us. And then after that, we got mm -hmm. UNC. So just kind of not thinking – Big picture, uh, just kind of taking it day by day, week by week. And, uh, you know, at the end of the day, it is a good thing that we're, we're in first place. But 
we do have a lot more work to do. Justin, I, I want to, before we get to some apparel questions here, um, I want to ask you about starting your college career at Vanderbilt. Uh, I know you're from New Jersey. You started at Vanderbilt. You transferred to Georgia Tech. You've kind of seen college baseball in, in two of the premier leagues in the country. Uh, this sport kind of gets lost a little bit when it gets started during the year because of basketball and some of the other things. And maybe even in the pandemic with a, a reduced schedule of games, but now to have this opportunity to to kind of get to the end of the line on this season, what's that mean to someone like yourself? Oh, it means a lot. Um, I feel like throughout my collegiate career, uh, I've I've been through a lot. Uh, just being able to kind of wait my turn, see how things go about, and then getting the opportunity here and getting the opportunity at the end of the year to do something pretty cool. And I think this team could do something very special. Um, so I'm excited. Again, much work to be done, but. I'm very, I'm very excited to to what's to what's about to happen for us. You know, we That's see cool. that three, we see that three hundred five batting average. But I can tell you, when we do best plays of the week, uh, you have appeared multiple times down there on third base, making yeah. some serious, serious plays with the glove. Uh, more to satisfaction at the plate or with your defense? It's equal. It's all equal. Um, defense could lead to hitting, or hitting could lead to defense. Um, it really doesn't matter to me. They all hold the same amount of weight. Uh, but yeah. still pretty cool to, you know, make some defensive plays and, you know, just kind of do it on both sides of the ball, not being one-dimensional. So just trying to – still working on defense, still working on everything. But, you know, it's fun. It's fun. All right, let's get to the apparel. Um, we saw three different looks in the home series against Clemson. We saw the navy blue tops. We saw the pinstripes. And then we saw what I'm going to call the honeybee look on Sunday. I don't know what you guys call it. <laughs> now, Packer and I were talking to you during the break. You kind of like the honeybee Sunday. Is that what you – well, first of all, what do you guys call that jersey? Oh, we just call them the golds. We don't really, you know, have any okay. type of name for them. But, you know, personally, Good. I like them. I think they're different. Um, just gold on gold, and I, I think it's a it's a good look. Uh it's not too bad, but like you said, I feel like younger guys like us like uh, pretty different stuff. So <laughs> that's it. Yeah, I do not mind them whatsoever, and they're really comfortable. So that actually plays a huge part in how much I like these uniforms. They're really comfortable. They're light, um, but I love them. All right. Yeah. Do you have another color combination that you like better than that one? My favorite are the pinstripes. All right. That, yeah. Those are easily my favorite. I'm a big Yankee fan. Um, mm -hmm. I love wearing pinstripes. I have a, a little picture of me when I was about seven years old on Halloween uh, wearing pinstripes. So I love pinstripes. Uh, but I would say other so, than that, I like our new combination of the blue blue top and white pants. See, I do too. Okay. I gotta be. I got to be honest with you. If I had to rank them, this is just me, I would have ranked them Friday, Saturday, Sunday. But I, I like the pinstripes, mm -hmm. too. I, I, you know, some teams can pull that off. Like, for example, you, you transferred from Vandy. When Vandy wears their black and their gold pinstripe, my eyes hurt. I'd say some pinstripes <laughs> don't work. Some don't work. And Vandy's got a great club. You know that. But it yeah. just oh, doesn't yeah. look yeah. right. It looks like a, just a, a bad comic book idea. All right? It's just like, no, nah, let's go back to the drawing board. Some teams can pull that off and some can't. But for me, your Friday would be one. Your Saturday was two. And your Sunday was three. That's just me. Absolutely respect it. Uh, I love the Friday <laughs> unis as well. So, but yeah. I have to say the pinstripes are my favorite. Okay, I can buy that. All right, I can I, buy it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I want to dive into this a little bit. Who else in the league? Uh, who's got a look that you kind of like? Wow, that Notre Dame, that all green. That's a risk. NC State, the all red, that's a risk. Is there anybody who you say, wait a second, now they're trying something here. That's okay. I'll, I'll go with that. Or is there somebody you're like, eh, I don't know that I could wear that? Well, I remember uh, on Sunday when we played NC State, it was kind of like a little color rush game. So they had their all reds <laughs> and we had our all golds. So I thought that was pretty funny. Um, but, yeah, honestly – the NC State all red, I think it's a, it's a good look. I'm not going to say anything oh, about their uniform. Yeah, okay. Just, but, right, I just. mean, it's, it's different. It's, it's, 
it's different. That's about it. But I, I would say they, okay. they pull it All off right. well. They got the guys to pull it off. So I would I would say they're right. they're a B plus. Hey Justin, if, right. if NC State isn't on the schedule, you can be honest about it. They've already played them, but they may play <laughs> them in the tournament. That's the problem. That's the correct answer. There's the right answer. <laughs> there we go. That's the right answer. All right. Uh, here's our traditional question to every student athlete. Since you've been at Georgia Tech, what has been your hardest class? Ooh. My hardest class. Honestly. God, I would say it was my English class in my first semester only because, like, it, it, was, it was just a ton of writing. It was just, you know, an essay every week. It was a six-pager every week. So I would just say that class was just a bunch of work. Uh, a lot of my other classes have been very difficult, but I've been able to manage. Um, and I would say this semester, Spanish was pretty, pretty difficult. Interesting. You know, of all the Georgia Tech student athletes, we always get calc or something. You know, there's some kind of mechanical number or whatever. I think you were the first Georgia Tech student athlete to say English and then threw in a little Spanish on the side. I, I think I don't think we've had that yet, Wes. That combination. It's been a while a since different. we've had Spanish pack. What was that, Wes? <laughs> I said it's been a while since we've had Spanish, period, yeah. but Justin joins a fairly elite group with Spanish now, doesn't he? Well, it, it, it had Justin transferred from Vanderbilt to Louisville and answered Spanish, I'd have gone, of course, because apparently everybody in the, at Louisville has had an issues with the Spanish department. But, uh, Justin, listen, you're a smart guy. Anybody goes to Vanderbilt and then transfers to Georgia Tech, you got your head on straight. And uh, you're yeah. obviously playing at a great, great level. And, again, congratulations on the sweep. Wish you the best in that ACC baseball tournament here in my backyard in a couple weeks. That is going to be incredibly competitive. It's going to be unbelievable. I'm excited. I'm excited to compete. I'm excited to get in that environment. Um, and I think our team has the tools to be successful in that environment. So I'm very excited. Yeah. Should be. All right. Could Justin Henry Malloy, appreciate you being here, my man. Good luck the rest of the way. Thank you guys so much for having me.